there's also another nitrogen fixing tree there called Inga. We're going to unravel that. Yeah. We're going to take it right here. Uh -huh. Lab not usually this aggressive, but it is aggressive in this greenhouse. Um, velvet bean oh, yeah. will kill trees, yeah. just like kutu will. They're all in the same family. Oops. I'm going to cut this uh, inga okay. right there uh, okay. just to release that. So, so this is all entangled up in here. It's all a really great resource. One of my goals here, you, you can get down, is to demonstrate um, the three different kinds of tropical nitrogen fixing plants that are used mostly. Is this is Inga. And this is the Lucaena. And this is the uh, Glurophidia. Uh, so these are all going to get coppiced here. Generally, they wouldn't be planted this close together. But uh, this is just a little demonstration here of how this can whole thing can that? just go viral. Um, it's only about three months or less than that. If, of, of this growing up from the last coppice. This is one of the major tropical trees and the lab plants? lab is one of the major vines that in agroforestry. The red ones, right next to it. Good, good. Thank you, sir. You can see how much fodder we're getting here. I'm gonna prune this down, everything back from, everything is off here, all this will come off. The magic of, uh, of these nitrogen-fixing tropical vines and trees is that they create all this biomass. Um, and they're always they're fixing nitrogen as well. Um, so they're sequestering carbon and they're creating all of this mulch that covers the ground and produces fertilizer and also produces food. Um, as well as fodder for animals. So, um, there's some seed in here for the Lucaena. Here, right here. This is a this is a seed from Lucaena, and, oh. and this is this is used in mole and other uh, uh, using salsas. Uh, also medicinal. Now this looks pretty sorry right here, but. Uh, Believe it or not, it'll just go all the way up again, and this whole thing will just happen in another three months, and we'll be able to just constantly um, coppice this. I came up with this idea of using the nitrogen fixing tree and the lab lab together. Uh, you could do uh, glycine or other things. Uh, we have glycine on the north wall we're going to be coppicing that we grow for shade. So uh, this is as long as that plant. The mother plant is still here, and this will um, this will go back with a vengeance. I'm going to take one one bucket uh, to the rabbits of each thing, and the rest of it we're going to chop and spread around okay. as mulch. Okay, put around the pineapple here, around not necessarily around this tree, right? Because it doesn't need it. Uh, you find that the nitrogen fixing trees don't need a lot of nutrients, um, so we don't want to waste the nutrients. Even though we stole it from them, we don't necessarily have to give it back to them. Take this finger uh, um, here and, and prune that off. And we'll just have a singer, single tree here. This is Inga here, an ice cream bean. And we'll, um, we'll put it up around this pineapple and chirimoya, the uh, coppice this right in here. around this key lime. So as you cut up this stuff, um, it becomes a woody material for the mycelium. They get a long uh, lasting mulch here, kind of hookah culture on top of everything here.
There's a perennial spinach in here. 